Anthony Marfori is a priest of the Diocese of St. Paul. Anthony Marfori is a priest who came from the Philippines. Anthony Marfori is a priest who was assigned by the past and present bishop to various positions of trust in the schools and in the parishes. Anthony Marfori abused each of these kids who came to us at separate times reporting abuse to Marfori. Anthony Marfori, as soon as the suit was brought, was removed from the church. And we've now learned that the bishop has allowed Anthony Marfori, a priest from the, the Philippines, to not only have continued his ministry all these years, but to return to the Philippines where he is right now. These kids on whom he has to brought them and on behalf of all the survivors of this community, we are deeply concerned about the practices of this diocese. They have created and are created a nuisance when it comes to Marfori. And when they assigned him to various parishes and schools, and particularly when they allowed him to go back to the Philippines, where no doubt he is doing the same thing to kids in the Philippines that he's been doing to kids in this diocese for many years. We're really concerned. Now the diocese has said they released a list of the, of the, the currently accused offenders, but Marfori isn't on that list. Uh, there are others that are not on that list. And so the disclosures they claim to have made to the public are deficient and deceptive. And when they placed Marfori in a parish and they allowed him to go back to the Philippines, it's deceptive. And it's deficient. It's deficient because they're doing everything they can to protect the priest, the offender, and the reputation of this diocese. It's got to stop. There is a nuisance. There is a hazard. There is a pattern of recklessness and serious recklessness by this bishop who claims to be doing the right thing, but in fact he continues to do the wrong thing in the wrong way. And it's time. It's time they come clean and clean it up because the kids in this community are at peril. This is a picture of Marfori more recently. Here's a picture of him early in his priesthood. The reality is He's a serious offender, and the question is, how many more are before he's out there right now among our kids? And but for the courage of these two survivors that came forward recently and brought these actions in nuisance and negligence against this diocese, people would not know. Because the bishop has not told, and the bishop has chosen not to fully disclose all that he does know, both as to the files that they have on the offenders and all the names of the offenders. So it's time for truth. It's time to put the protection of the children ahead of the reputation of the diocese as priests and our boys. The um, bishop at one point indicated when we brought the suit about a year and a half ago that all the names had been given, that all of the claims were old, and that there was nobody active to worry about. This case clearly indicates that there are people that are active to worry about. Um, filing the suit today, Doe 96, we are, uh, this is an active priest. This is a person who was active here in Minnesota and now we know is active in the Philippines. That's a great concern. That's the very nature of this nuisance suit. Every one of these does that we brought forward, every claim that we brought, one of the biggest factors for our clients is getting the files out there, getting the information out. And we get told two things. Oh, it's all old. Uh, we just heard an argument that it was 40 years ago. The reality is this is an ongoing problem. Active people with our kids. That's why these recent claims need to go forward. And that's why they need to come out with the files. And they need, need to give us all the names. Every single one that's been accused, they should tell us about. Everyone that, that they know of, they should tell us about. And their files should be provided. And it also begs the question, uh, Marfori has been out there having to abuse these kids several decades ago, but as soon as we bring the suit on behalf of one of them, the bishop pulls them out and 
allows him to go back to where he came from in the Philippines in good standing as a priest. And it begs the question, why were they allowed to do that? They weren't trying to continue to conceal and protect the wrong class of people. That is the priest, the reputation, and the kids. Thank you all, and thank you for these courageous survivors making some truth known and doing what needs to be done to protect the kids in this community.